Hello there. Today I have the Nods Vault or the artist formerly known as the Bong Bag. If you've seen this bag before and if you already have one, it's a good chance that you got it through Subdef. Corey loves naming his stuff cool wild names. I'm a little more boring and I just call it the Nods Vault. So if you buy it through Corey and Subdef, you're going to be getting the Bong Bag. If you buy it through through us, GWA, or through Licentia, it's going to be known as the Nods Vault. Same bag, just different names. Obviously, our name is not nearly as cool as Subdef's. Want to go over the history, the reason why I made this bag, and do a quick overview of the features of the bag. Starting off with the outside front of the bag, you'll quickly notice the Subdef version came slick with a label here. On the Nods Vault, you will be getting a 2 by 3 inch field of loop Velcro for your patch or other identifier you on there, name tape, identity, whatever you want. Top of the bag, both have the sleek and slim handle. Now I wanted something compact when I got my Nods back in 2016, 2017, I got my first PVS 14s and I quickly realized that the market pretty much focused only on molly pouches, padded molly pouches that go on your plate carrier, but I wanted something slim and compact that fit in one of my backpacks. And I noticed that those pouches were too small. They pretty much held your nods and your bridge and maybe your manual, and that was about it. No room for your sacrificial lens, your 3X magnifier, any extra accessories, batteries, etc etc or even a second pair of nods this will fit two pairs of, of nods as well i didn't want a pelican case pelican cases are heavy they're rigid they're they're very large and i personally i'm not a huge fan of pelican cases they serve their purpose for for traveling in the airplanes you want to have the extra security in this case i wanted something padded and compact and lightweight they also fit in my packs Outside the bag, got 500 denier Cordura. You have these number eight YKK Aqua Guard zippers. The whole bag is pretty weatherproof. It's pretty weather resistant. The Cordura is water resistant. It has a DWR durable water repellency coating on the back. The Aqua Guard zippers are extremely water resistant as well. You'll notice on the bag, there are no external straps or anything else like that. I want to keep the bag super slim. No snag hazards. Just a very streamlined, very sleek carry handle. 17337 webbing on the back here you got these little pull tabs to just help you ass assist in closing the bag if you have it overfilled getting getting into the bag you open it up the first thing you'll notice is the high vis interior i always dug the high vis interiors on bags it pops really nice and if you're doing low light stuff in the case with night vision you're going to want to have uh, something that's a little bit lighter color than you know if it's black bag black interior as well one two three four compartments here which are elastic compressed sacrificial lens extra batteries clean cloths etc top zipper pocket this is what you'll use for your manuals the vault also has a padded divider and this was a feature that was absent on the original prototype and I wanted to add something to protect your nods just in case you have some heavier objects on top. On the bottom here, you have three dividers. So each bag comes with these three dividers, similar to a camera bag. The inside is all loop lined, so you can move these guys and modularize them, put them where you want them in the bag. You'll notice on the divider, you have this extra Velcro here and a pull tab. This guy will actually secure to the top. So if you want to open the lid and keep that separate, you can and this guy will also attach to the bottom velcro of the bag as well let me show you my loadout in my bag like on the other bag one two three four compartments got some extra batteries here i got my pbs 14 iphone camera mount adapter there a couple of sacrificial lenses there top zip compartment i got my manual I got the paperwork that came with the nods. I got some cleaning wipes for the lenses as well. A step down adapter for a DSL DSLR attachment that I have. Open this guy up. 
bridged dual PBS 14s here. This is my iPhone DSLR mount. If I want to separate one of the 14 from the bridge, I have this Wilcox arm that I can attach it to a single helmet. I got the bridge here, the mount, Wilcox. So in this case here, I took out one of the extra dividers that didn't need it. So you'll notice the size of this thing. You can fit two nods in here, two sets of binos. Um, this will fit 31s, DTNVGs, pretty much Sentinels, pretty much all the most, most popular night vision goggles in the market. You can even fit the quads as well. GPNVGs will fit in here just fine. And if you don't own nods, it was funny when, when Subtef released initially, people were saying they bought the bag and they didn't even own nods. I mean, it's cool too. You can put a DSLR in here. I can actually, I actually have one of these bags outfitted with my Sony Alpha camera, my mirrorless. The mirrorless cameras are are a lot smaller nowadays and it'll fit in here just fine and I have a 24 to 70 millimeter lens that will drop in here as well it's the right length so it's a modular bag at the end of the day it's a modular bag you can put all kinds of all kinds of goods in there um, you, you can even put your 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 bomb or any other glass you want in there as well the whole thing is padded sides bottom dividers divider on a, the middle divider the top everything is padded and secured We'll be doing a multicam black. The first batch will be available through Licentia Arms. Very cool guys there. Very, very nice high-end night vision company. We'll be offering more colors coming up as well. I strongly suggest you guys sign up to our newsletter on our website and our blog to get the latest information. All the latest colors and drops will be announced there first before social media. This is actually the first prototype I ever made of the nod vault it's you can see it's pretty much stayed the same not too many changes you can see i added the little ends on the little caps on the end so you can zip a little tighter the original actually had the loop on the front same handle same same zipper system and you can see the original did not have the, the divider in the middle. The final one does. Everything else is pretty much the same. I mean, I made this, I think I got my, my, my 14s originally in 2017, around there. And this bag, I made pretty much right after that, just not being able to find a good bag just for your nods. Not a helmet bag, not a duffel bag for all your stuff, and not a small pouch, a molly pouch. I wanted a dedicated padded case that was not a hard case for my nods so I came up with the nods vault shortly after that I never meant to go to market with it Corey from Septef saw it he really dug it he had nods and he wanted a bag and we released it with him and and I owe him a lot of credit for getting the the recognition out there and getting the the bag out there to all you guys who, who like it he doesn't like some colors like multicam black. I know a lot of guys do, so we're gonna offer multicam black. But again, we'll be doing more more colors as well through our website and through Lacentia and possibly other other dealers as well. Oh, one more thing before I forget, because I like modularity. Here's the Gen 3 Citadel in brushstroke, which will also be releasing in May, very very soon. So check this out, Nods Vault, it's the same width, a little bit narrower than the Citadel. One drops in there, Nods go in there, and then boom, second Nods Vault drops right on top of that, camera equipment or anything else, and you still have room for a couple of the small go pouches right there. Modularity is king. I like to say that I did that on purpose. <laughs> a lot of times things just end up working the way it did. And if you check this out, you can actually fit them to both vertically as well. Sometimes a plan just comes best together by just by random luck and they both fit. I want to set it on purpose, but you know. So, fit near Citadel, just perfect. Nods Vault, be sure to check them out, pick one up. These are made in USA with American made materials. I pay a premium for the labor on these bags. My, my labor is 
US law abiding citizens. These people are, are great at what they do and their money goes right back into the local economy and I like to keep it that way. So my stuff costs a little more. I get it, it's expensive, but I like to think that the money is going to not some faceless corporation, <clears throat> Jeff Bezos, it's going into a, a community of, of sewers and keeping the, the sewing industry alive in, in the area. So again, be sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Join the newsletter, uh, sign up for the blog as well, check all that stuff out, and we'll be getting more and more product out there. Again, this has been the GWA Nods Vault.